What's up guys and welcome to my new let's play. Welcome to Max Payne 3. My name is DJ and I decided to play this after actually about like five minutes worth of consideration after ending off Murdered Soul Suspect. And I love, I decided to go back to one of my favorite shooters of, I guess I think it was like this one, 2012. I love this, I, I, I love this game, I really do. And seeing an end to like the Max Payne series in general just, ugh. I, I love the Max Payne series. I played Max Payne 1 and I played Max Payne 2 and I loved them to death! And then when I saw that there was going to be a sequel, like Max Payne 3, back in like 2010, 2011, I was like, I was so hype! And then when it came out, my computer couldn't run it. And then I had to upgrade my PC and then finally I could run it and I played the multiplayer to death and everything, everything, everything. And now we're here and I'm going to play this game for you guys. So let's get started, shall we start a new game? My current level progress will be over... I've actually finished this game already. Uh... Yeah, there we go. Let's play this on medium. Let's start, shall we? Max, fresh from his... Fresh from uh, New Jer New Jersey? Yeah, New Jersey. This place is great. Really comfortable. I miss his old voice actor. I really do. I'm just gonna get settled in. Yeah, you're gonna get settled in just fine, Max. Time to move on. Get on with my life. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. friggin' lootly. Oh, well, it's better than nothing, right? Now, like I said, it was a long time ago. Seriously. Just let it go. Let it go, Max. Leave all of it behind. Definitely more my style than Panama. Or Hoboken, I guess. Yep, Hoboken. He's no. in New Jersey. If I'm honest, I just got kind of bored of boozing. I mean, once in a while, but not all the time. You're right. It wasn't doing me any favors. Whiskey physics. Maybe I'd lost my self-respect, but it's back. I'm excited. Really. I really needed a new start. It certainly... It certainly ain't New Jersey. It's my new life, just like you said. Listen, if you think I can still do a job, what have I got to lose? Apart from the weight. Very funny. Ha ha. Yes, that is a fake laugh, you jerk. Hmm. And the multiplayer, no one plays the multiplayer anymore, sadly. I love the multiplayer. And if you're opening another game with, like, at least five minutes worth of cutscene, just like Murdered Soul Suspect, I also realize I need to turn the game volume down quite a bit. I'll do that when we get to a uh, menu. Don't worry. Or the, when I get control of the game. Because these cutscenes, I think... Well, I don't want to skip them because, you know. There we go. Hi, Max. His veiny arms. So you're finally in the game engine. This style is intentional, by the by. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> 
I just I just love noir. I love film noir. I love detective stories. I love violent things like this. It's it's part of me. Oh, I don't want to skip this. Go away. So I guess I've become what they wanted me to be. A killer. Some rent clown with a gun who puts holes in other bad guys. Well, that's what they had paid for, so in the end, that's what they got. Say what you want about Americans, but we understand capitalism. You buy yourself a product, then you get what you pay for. And these chumps had paid for some angry gringo without the sensibilities to know right from wrong. Here I was, about to execute this poor bastard like some dime store angel of death. And I realized they were correct. I wouldn't know right from wrong if one of them was helping the poor and the other was banging my sister. It all started... Chapter 1, Something Rotten in the Air, Sao Paulo, Brazil. I'd arrived in Sao Paulo a few weeks before. I was working a protection detail for the kind of people who need protection in a town like this. And what kind of town was this? One where I didn't speak the language and they didn't water down their drinks. So for now, we seem to get along just fine. Of course, that was about to change. Yep. Hey, brother. Hey. Hey, Passos. How's the cocktail? Scotch. I never mix my drinks. Yeah, at least not on duty. Something like that. Man, that favela is big. Yep. Nothing like the view of extreme poverty to make a penthouse cocktail party really swing. I guess they call it trickle-down economics. <laughs> That's funny. It's supposed to be a charity thing. Drink and give money. I don't know. Something for the kids. Hey, listen, man. We better look lively. This place is a nightmare. You just got cowboys running security downstairs. Something rotten in the air. That didn't mean much. There was always something rotten in the air. Yep. The family we were protecting were local celebrities, rich Broncos. parasites with delusions of humanity. The kind of people who end up in glossy magazines or body bags, depending on how their luck runs. So where are they all? I see Rodrigo over there talking to that guy. Yeah, I don't know him. That guy next to him. He's some kind of cop. Uh, I think, I'm not sure. Serious though. Big end cop, anti-gang sort of thing. I can't remember his name. So who's this guy? That guy's a plastic surgeon or some kind of surgeon. A tummy tucks and cock implants. Ha! Look at Marcel. Still dances like a fool. Guess that's what a European education and a coke habit will do for Ricky Martin look alike. <laughs> that's very funny, Max. Oh, excuse me. Where's Victor? Victor's around here somewhere, right? I was mostly working for Rodrigo Branco, a local businessman. Built things, did some charity, had things named after him, won awards, owned things, people. One of the trophies he had won was his wife, Fabiana. She was hot and wanted to be dangerous. Some good genes trying to fight their way out of a cesspit. She'd married well and was now at leisure to regret her good fortune. They got along as well as any rich workaholic and his younger airhead wife tend to get along. They mostly ignored each other. <laughs> she spent a lot of time with his cokehead younger brother, Marcello. He was a good time guy if your idea of a good time was an expensive suit, a bottle of champagne, and nothing between the ears. The middle <laughs> brother, Victor, had just walked in. He was a local politician. The guy was smoother than an oil slick on an iceberg and about as toxic. The rest of the crowd, I didn't know, but I could imagine the types. People who know if they drink enough, they won't have to feel guilty about their good fortune. Especially in a city Suddenly, like this. things turned real ugly. Felt like our hangovers arrived right on cue. Whoa! They're taking the Broncos. Oh no. Go after him, Max. Go after him. What 
the fuck that was. Let's go. Things had gone Shit. from fine to fucked up in about a second. And now there were two idiots at the wheel. Right. Clear. Got the floor? Sure. Look after yourself, bro. Stay safe. It wasn't my own safety I was concerned about. Trophy wife or not. I'd said I would protect the girl. Yep. I forgot how to trigger the bullet time. Oh, there he goes. It's uh. Okay, Q engages cover. Give, give me this. Uh, oops. Give me, okay, hold on. There, there. Fuel guns. Right. No one there. Crap! I wasted that. I keep wasting that for no reason. Ugh. I forgot what the sh I forgot. No, wait, hold on. I'm crouching. Okay, no control is run. Yeah, this game has some weird ass controls. Die. Oh, boss lady. That was the boss. Boss lady. lady boss lady. Only this time she wasn't calling for more vodka in her Cosmo. <laughs> You know what you gotta do, Max. Don't be stupid. Let her go. Let her go. Come on. It might have been stupidity, or drunkenness, or maybe or both. both. <laughs> Before I knew it, I was back taking insane risks, trying to save fallen women. You know what to do, Max. And boom goes the dynamite. This is what I like about this game. The bullet time is amazing. Tranquila, tranquila. Nós cuidamos disso. Nice work. There we go. Okay, Boss lady is safe. No, you. Who the hell's Rodrigo? I don't know, man. Thanks. Somebody's gotta go find him. Well, it's got, it's, I guess it has to be you, Max. Oop. Right, down to the first floor we go, I or the ground the floor. the elevator door is opening to a firing squad of muzzles. As far as I could see it, the one thing my plan had going was that no one else would be stupid enough to pull this move. Yep, no one except us. And we will do that in the next video. Whoop, let's pause that. Until next... Ah, blah, blah. In the next video, we will tackle getting to the ground, lo ground floor and down to the basement car park. Where Rodrigo has been taken. Yes, I played this game before, and yes, I finished it. Finished it, but I want to play it because it's fun. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun. Uh, if you liked the video, leave a like and a comment in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel for more gaming videos, and I will see you guys in the next video, where we will attempt to rescue Rodrigo Bronco. Until then, everybody.